every year 16 million Christians, um, 100,000 fishermen, and 50,000 hunters don't vote every year. But if they did, they would vote right wing. On top of that, uh, I want to ask you, how should Republicans capsulate this voting base? And do you agree that we should stop wasting time trying to retake cities like Detroit, which will never vote red, which demographics prove? I didn't <clears throat> fully comprehend the last part of your question, but I think like we should focus on gettable votes. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I right. think. I think. I mean, the Christian thing is. I mean, I don't want to be lectury or preachy or whatever. I've already admitted I was an Episcopalian, so I have no grounds for lecturing anyone on religion. But I'm very, very distressed by the state of the American Christian Church, and, and really disgusted by it. Frankly, disgusted by it. And the amount of collaboration between pastors in Protestant, I'm talking about Protestant, I'm, I'm Protestant, so like, I can only assess that. But the amount of collaboration between Protestant pastors and a government that hates them, explicitly hates Christians and Christianity, it couldn't be more obvious, is shocking to me. And the number of pastors who like, somehow decided the New Testament commanded their parishioners to take the COVID vaccine, you should resign. Like, you should apologize for saying that, at the very least. And I just was shocked by that. I was completely, in fact, I haven't been to church since that happened. I was so mad. And so like, you know, if I feel, I'm very sympathetic to Christianity, as you can probably tell. And if, if, I, if I'm too mad to go to church, I think you've done something wrong, I think that's fair. And, and admitting, and I've done many things wrong in my life, but admitting it and repenting is not only the Christian message, but it's also like essential for your own soul. And so they should admit that, and the, and the insanity after George Floyd's death, where churches were getting up to say Black Lives Matter, which is an aggressively anti-Christian group and Christian churches are promoting it? I don't think I've ever been that offended. So um, I, don't know what to, I don't know what to say other than um, Christians are part of the answer, are the answer. And I wouldn't even just say Christians, I would just say this. I divide the world into two groups. People who think they're God and people who know they're not. And I'm a Christian, so I get kind of wound up about it. But you know, I'm going to the Middle East tomorrow. And I'll just be totally blunt with you. I like religious people. And there are certainly parts of Islam that I, <laughs> You know, I'm still mad about 9-11 anniversaries tomorrow. But on the other hand, you know, any people who have to pause five times a day to be reminded that they're not God, like, those aren't my enemies, necessarily. It's true. I like people who know they're not God. It's the people who think they are God who are a danger to my family. Because when you think you're God, there's no limit on your behavior. When you know someone's watching, you behave very differently. And so it's the hubris of the neoliberal global leadership that scares the crap out of me. They're literally telling you they can change the weather. You can change the weather? Really? Bring water from that rock and I'll believe you. Oh, you can't? Shut up. Um, anyway, yes, I think the Republican Party in Washington is, uh, has treated believing traditional Christians terribly. They have contempt for them. I think most Christians know that. Um, but if you're running a functional political party, you would be totally open about it. And uh, the only people I trust personally are in that category.